Hello there and welcome to World of Tanks at Ungainly Titan. We're here in Moravanka in the chariot here, the British Tier 8 Tank Destroyer, which I've been working through for the last while and um, about halfway, I think, through um, the experience needed to unlock the Conway. So it's a Tier 9 match and I've always got difficulty with more of Anka with uh, tanks like the Charioteer because they're basically kind of glass cannons. They haven't got much in the line of armor and um, they can be pretty helpless when caught in the open by heavy tanks or well armored tanks or fast medium tanks or fast light tanks. Because the turret rotation isn't all that uh, much to write home about either and the the problem is that the lack of gun depression um, limits the kind of spots that you can uh, be in, like in the Hellcat or an Achilles or something like that. I might think of moving on to the bottom of the ridge line there uh, that runs up between the three and four lines. Now there are spots down here where you can get shots up um, in the valley that goes up on the two line, but I think I've gone a little too far west. If you go too far west, the houses start blocking your um, your line of sight up the uh, the road, and the amount of soft cover kind of tends tempts you to continue moving forward. The trouble is, if you continue moving forward, you're kind of climbing a very gentle series of undulations, and it kind of ends in a ridge line um, just along the F line. And if you're that far forward, you'll be spotted straight away by enemy tanks and with the low or poor gun depression on this tank to move into a position where you can fire you're actually exposing the whole tank so I've just suddenly realized that I am well out of position and completely not where I intended to be so I've kind of messed up the start of this battle um, not making effective use of the terrain my gun isn't in action and I basically don't really get it right. The other thing, of course, is that the enemy tanks aren't pushing the southern side, or they haven't, and they haven't deployed on the western side of the, the road at all um, very much. So I'm kind of sitting here now, um, seeing if I can see anything. But at this point, the um, the tanks that were kind of on the road. Um, they're in the little valley now between the two hills. So, the rest of our team has actually gone up through the forest and pretty much encountered no opposition. Pretty much like the last game uh, that I showed in this map with the FE4202P where I was on the same spawn, uh, southern spawn, and we drove up, uh, four of us, uh, drove up through the forest without encountering any opposition, and we actually encountered opposition earlier than um, my teammates have in the current situation. The principal difference is that in that particular occasion we did have a tank in the centre, and the enemy made no in attempt to either infiltrate down along the eastern edge of the hills, that's um, occupied sort of the three, four lines in the center, or nor do they attempt to um, drive through as the Tiger II and the T32 have here right into our cap circle without being detected practically. So I'm the only tank really in a position to uh, intercept uh, or affect these uh, guys in the cap circle, probably along with the artillery. Is. And um, I've managed to get some hits on uh, the T-32 as it was driving down. And I've now managed to spot the Tiger. But I get spotted um, on occasion when I fire. And then if I pull back I have to I unspot it so I have to pull back up again to reacquire the spot. So, um, I think it's the T-32 that's actually spotting me, because um, 
he dies now and once he dies I'm actually have to pull forward a quail spot on the tiger and continue firing at the tiger through the bushes without the tiger um, seemingly any of the wiser his gun certainly doesn't even move in my direction I don't know what it is uh, that's causing teams in the northern spawn lately in this map to just go down the um, western side and completely ignore the forest. Uh, this is the second time it's done. I'll have a link to the previous video in the video description uh, down below this. But um, I've managed to wipe out the tanks in the spots uh, in our um, spawn circle. And their now remaining enemies are basically bottled up into the northwest corner. Um, I'm urging that guy to pull back. He's outnumbered, and if he pulls back, I might get uh, shots in them as they're chasing around the corner. But a lot of the time, when you kind of do stuff like that to people, they don't seem to either notice that you're messaging them or um, they just ignore the messages. I think a lot of the time they just are unaware of the fact that you're trying to message them. Um, they're. Um, Total visioned in on the fight and they're just completely unaware of it so I have to relocate and then see if I can get any more action. Um, things are still looking kind of even tank number wise but the advantage positionally is ours. They have failed to break through to the south and I'm about to take out that Borsig which is a pretty valuable gun and now the number situation is tilting very strongly in our favour. They might still have achieved something, particularly the T-59 uh, which is in pretty good shape if he'd actually just gone south and engaged the two tanks, myself and the um, tank right at the edge of the map. But just digging in at the corner there um, was not a good position or a good use of his uh, tank. Because again, he can't control the fight, he's um, under fire from multiple tanks. I got, took a chunk out of him and then somebody else finished him off. So it's pretty much that's over now. Um, the only advantage they would have had, or could have had, is if uh, one of the tanks would remain hidden and just ambush lone tanks on our side uh, one by one. So, handy enough. Um, did okay in terms of the amount of damage I managed to inflict, so over 3k of damage. Got a second class mastery, sniper badge and a defender. So thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, please consider giving it a like and the channel a subscription. And I'll catch you all again soon.